No, you'd have a whole world of other problems. But your indenting wouldn't be one of them. Yeah. How do you bring up the console? Uh, um, it's control back quote. Have you got it up now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're going to go to one that has package control installed. Shift command P. Shift, okay. Shift command P, I should tell you what that does. Shift command P, or I guess shift control P on, on Windows and Linux, uh, brings up the command palette. So the command palette has everything that Sublime Text knows how to do, including every command that's been installed by packages. So one of the packages is package control. And so if I say install package, right. it comes up and I hit return, and it will list every package that it knows about, huh. which are tons of them. It's like oh. Plugins or something or something's written. Yeah, they're they're called packages, but yeah. they are plugins. That's what they are. Okay. Um, and there's a gazillion of them, uh, all of them interesting. I have already installed all the packages that I care about right now, and I can see them with list package. Advanced new file. Uh, control stuff that the sidebar does. Anaconda is um, a bunch of stuff about Python. Emmet is stuff for HTML and CSS. Um, it lets you type really short sequences that are abbreviations and they turn into full, full sized mm. web descriptions. Cool. Git, we all know about Git gutter makes stuff show up here in the gutter. I mean, you like little pluses and minuses. Go Sublime is uh, the package that for Go. For Go. jQuery snippets pack, JS snippets. There's package control itself. Package control, package resource viewer, I don't know what that is. Pi V8, I got with one of the Python things. Racket is because I was learning to program in Racket. That was horrible. Though. And sidebar enhancements are what shows up in the. Is that the sidebar, the little stuff over on the right? That's a Mac thing. Oh, this. Oh, that. That's, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's the mini map, and that is that is cross platform. Yep. Yeah, I see it on my here too. Yeah. Cool. It is, yeah, because I mean, if you know, if you got some header there, you just go right to it. You can turn that thing off. Yes. It is pretty nice, you know, depending on the instruction code, you know, sections of it. Go to it right away rather than having to search for it or whatever. Uh, so I was going to install some some packages, but I've already installed all those packages in the one where I have package control installed. This go to menu. Go to anything, if, especially if I were in a project right now, and I said go to anything, I can type any symbol in my project, and it'll go to the place where that symbol is defined. I don't know why I brought that to you out of, out of order, but, but there it is. Um, but along with the graphical editor comes a command line tool which in uh, why do I never oh there it is it's going to be so tiny on that can you read that at all yeah, yeah. So which sub L? Sub L is the
command line connector to Sublime Text. And it lets you do things like sub L uh, jersey.js. And now I'm in a new tab that's, wow. that's a new file named jersey.js. If I were to save it, it would save as jersey.js. Yeah, and you can, there's a couple of different um, special modifiers that you can give it. You can say sub L minus N uh, shore.js makes a new window. And most important is sub L minus W. Sub L minus W waits for the editor to save and exit that file. So for instance, you could set export editor equals sub L minus W. And then when you're doing the git commit, Message. Exactly, yeah, and then to do it. and then when Sublime goes away, yeah. So sub L is key, and sub L is installed automatically for you if you're installing the Linux version. Right. If you're installing the Mac version, uh, you have to link something by hand. The the actual binary is in the Sublime package, and you have to link it to some place on your path. So to get a full treatment of this whole thing from top to bottom, how to install from scratch, how to set everything up just the way you want, um, in this case with the idea that you're editing a full Python stack, which is Python and JavaScript and Django and whatever. Um, I've got an article which tells you the works and where to look for more information. So I'm going to include that. Right. Finally, well not quite finally, finally, um, how do you create a Sublime Text plugin? It's a little complicated. It's outside the scope of this um, particular talk, but this page shows you exactly how to do it with a ROP 13 plan, I think. And that gives you a clue as to how to write your own. You can write a plugin that does anything, that just collects together other commands, that uh, reaches out across the network and grabs stuff, um, that does any number of things. Uh, this Go Sublime that I, that I use um, is quite a package, and it does all of those things. In fact, maybe I can show you. Are you using this like an IDE? Yes. Okay. You can use this like an IDE. You're building everything inside. The that is right. In fact, I'm going to
Okay, so to bring up the underlying um, Go, Go Sublime has its own command line that it implements and it's different than the different than the regular Python console. It actually does stuff. I can say go get, blah, blah, blah. I, I have a bunch of family tests here, which are not interesting to look at. Uh, but one of the things you say in go is you say go get some module, and it goes out to probably GitHub it finds where that module lives and downloads it and installs it and builds it so that you can use it from your module. Now this confuses the Go programming language? Or is this? this is in the Go programming language. This package was not written in the Go programming language. It was written in Python. It's, it's for your work on Go projects. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't apply to any other files. It doesn't, it doesn't rear its ugly head. So if you want to uninstall a plugin, is it easy to uninstall as well as install? Super easy. Shift Command P, remove package, package control, remove package, and then it just lists the ones that you want. So if you try something out and find it, you don't like it. Totally easy to remove completely. Or, or you could just comment, you could just add it to the ignore package. I believe you can just add it to the ignore package. Yes, it just won't. The vintage is different because it's a built-in package. Okay. Like you don't go out and get vintage, you don't upgrade vintage. Vintage right. gets upgraded by right. upgrading the, the software itself. Okay. Finally. I want to show you.